I'm like, oh God, oh, oh my God. Bitch, I run the game, y'all just commentate from the side. What up, guys? It's your girl, Kizzy K here, and I told you guys I'll react to Big Brother, season 20, in episode 17, just there. So let's just dive right into this. Out of all the Wednesdays, Thursdays, the Sundays, Thursdays, I'll be best because it's the lies. You get to see, oh my god, I said this in my last week, we can that bread and then you can that bread to save it. You know. Brother will probably go down with the best features in Big Brother. You're playing. It's just his face. He's just so serious. He's like, I'm scared. That's why I'm like, I'm like, did you begin to say Rachel first? This has to be the best eviction ever. Like, let me start by saying this. As much as I did, I will say I did love Rachel. But at that point, Rachel made her bed. And now she has blade and I'm sorry. Rachel casted her own eviction on herself. She had kept that lip check. Rachel would have not been in that predicament. Oh my god, that blew up. And the folks came around. Oh my god, she was so she just got up, walked out, dumbfounded. Like she didn't know what was going on. Like she didn't know what was going on. And now she's like, I'm hurt. When I tell you Come through, Angela. That you are not a furniture. I can't sing this guy. I was like, at this point, I said, Angela has to wake up. Angela, I said, I said, I keep looking for you, Angela. I keep looking for you. I said, I said, you've been real quiet. Once through all the house, you, Angela was silent. My girl has awoken. Not only did she tell Rachel off, in the live messages, she said, bullet points. She was like, girl, you did this to yourself. You basically what you did a phone of lies. And she was like, not sorry to be done. Oh. Whoa, and Rachel's response, she said, what's wrong with Angela? Julie was like, please, don't curse on the show. Don't curse. She was about to say, what the? But she said, free. Angela won this eight show. Eight times so happy. You know what I tell you? People were just dropping in their side. I'm like, yo, why is it when I'm in a true false question? The other side drops mad at Casey. Oh my god, Casey. Casey's only good for physical stuff. Other than that, Casey's not good for half the house. Sam, don't know what happened there. The people were dropping, I'm thinking like, oh my god, Angela, you guys seen this game girl. And I'm seeing the whole video just drop. I'm like, oh my god, I was literally screaming at the TV. If nobody will run down Angela, I said, I don't will be dead if Rockstar wins this. And I'm like, man, I'm like, oh my god, Angela wins. I'm like, oh yes, hallelujah. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, Bailey's definitely gonna use it. She's definitely gonna use my kids. Branching out of it to the whole house that she has, that she can hijack knobs. And so at this point, I know she's gonna use it. But, I don't know why. Christopher said, he meant to, he was like, I'm gonna just let you know this inside. He was like, Bailey's not using her power app this week. It's gonna be, they're just gonna lose a member. It sucks, but it is what it is. And she's gonna use it next week. Now, my thing is this she can only control knobs. So, if Angela can somehow convince her, like, not to use it and not put her up, Bailey has to go out at the, the back door option. Out of everybody on that side, Bailey is the most big threat that you want to get out as soon as possible. And it's a bonus if you get her out along with the power rack. So, if they can finesse their way out, and that door her. Oh, beautiful. Friends with Billy's gone. She's gonna be friends with a jury. And there's another twist to the game. I'm excited to see how that's gonna play out. Then, who would Angela nominate? I feel like she would definitely put up Scotty. Honestly, she should put Scotty and Haley up, but I really don't like 
feel yo, he doesn't get on my nerves. All she does is kiss. And then she like, I feel bad for Fancy. Like I really do. Like Fancy doesn't even deserve him. He's too good of a person for him. But I feel like she's she would probably put up Scotty. It's either Scotty and Haley, but I think it's gonna be Scotty and the rock star. But if she genuinely truly is sticking to her word, I don't know. But if she's like 100% not putting Bailey up or that joint Bailey as somebody who has to beat up, I think her true, her true target is going to be to get Scotty out of the house. I think that's going to be her true target. And if Scotty put himself down, she's going to put Haley up. Now, the Rockstar and Haley, I'll probably just take Haley out. I'll probably leave Rockstar because Rockstar, take Haley out of the equation. Ooh, by Fezzy, by Bailey. Then Rockstar is left up in the mix. That's how I see it. Man, this was some good TV, yo. I don't know what Rachel's social media account is, but I am definitely going to look at it after this. Oh my god, yo. Like, girl, you got to see what you did. Like, I know we're back. There would be no way Rachel will watch this. But, like, this is for me to Rachel Daily. Rachel, if you're seeing this, which I know you're probably not, I want you to know... I was rooting for you 100%. I thought I was 100% on your side. You were in my top five people. I was excited and looking forward to watching this game. As soon as you hit that block at the pond, you started going haywire. All you had to do was just sit there, be quiet, and I know you wanted bread. You supported bread. You were loyal. We all seen it. You were rooting for him. You were talking about my file. I appreciate your loyalty. But at the end of the day, you have to think about your game and not Brent's game. And I feel like in doing so, I'm worried most about Brent's game. You end up causing your game and writing your own eviction of this. At the end of the day, I still love you, Rachel. So I hope you don't take my hard feelings. But you sent yourself home. Because I'll tell you, you rest on Wednesday. And that is it for this recap, guys. I'm TZK. Same. See ya. Thank you.